to open, uh, we have used the, uh, the youth center uh, to have that program. Okay, so that's different from the current existing program? That was yeah, well, yes, it's, it's different, it's different. They just ask them to use the building uh, for, for their child care services. Okay, and that's a different age range or different? Uh, elementary, typically. It's elementary to middle school. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Anyone else? Okay, seeing nothing, I close the public portion. Any uh, committee or raise the liaison reports? Mr. President, I have a brief report. Mm -hmm. On. Okay. Yes, sir. All right. On uh, September 16th, I attended the second of our uh, Board of Ed Mayor Council summits that we had over at the municipal building. Uh, the audience was the attendance of the council, council member. Uh, the mayor was there, and uh, some of the professionals, uh, Mr. Cologne, uh, Clerk of Science were all there. Uh, we discussed a number of initiatives for collaboration, and uh, I think there is a lot of room to cooperate on these things. Um, so I hope we can start moving forward on some of them. Uh, we have a young mayor, but he's not getting any younger, and so he's starting to get impatient about getting something done. <laughs> I uh, also marched in the Hispanic and Latino Day Parade on uh, September 7th, I think it was, uh, with the superintendent. Uh, we were supporting all of uh, Russell Park's Hispanic and Latinos, including uh, many of our students, teachers, and administrators. So it was a great time. And that is my report. Thank you. Anyone else? Hearing none, we'll move right into the superintendent's report. Mr. Perry. Thank you, Mr. Holmes. Good evening, everyone. Uh, I just want to begin by uh, commending our middle school and high school administration. On September 26, uh, there was an, uh, an assembly uh, for students uh, entitled Keeping, Your, Keeping You Safe Online, What Every Person Should Know. Uh, we obviously are very concerned with social media and our students. Uh, the assembly were great. Uh, they were so informative on preventing cyber cruelty, safe communication and gaming, preventing abuse of current and future apps, poor social media and oversharing behaviors, many other current and future issues. So uh, the presenter was excellent, uh, really came down to, to the level that students can understand and appreciate and I think, well I, I know, I'm confident uh, they received a great message. And uh, you know, we will continue to make sure that we reinforce that message throughout the year uh, and students learn, learn the seriousness of putting things online and sharing things online and uh, properly uh, communicating uh, with, with, with any online type of uh, apps or what have you. So again, I commend the, the staff there for bringing uh, the amazing, amazing assembly to our students. Uh, week of Respect begins next Monday, uh, the 7th, and it goes all the way to the 11th. Our district, uh, the entire district, uh, will be recognizing that week with uh, classroom discussions, lessons, activities, assemblies, and so forth, and really is um, exactly what it says, respect. Uh, with you know incidents of bullying that happen all the time, we, we want to make sure education is key to changing students' behavior, and we will do that that week and also the week of uh, anti-violence, uh, uh, yeah, anti-violence, which is the following week. So really, the month of October, uh, we used to educate students on, on you know respecting each other and on all types of uh, anti-bullying uh, situations. Uh, back to school nights are just about completed. Uh, Sherman School uh, has it on Thursday. Uh, they were very well attended. To me, I believe that is the most important night of the year for parents because parents get to know exactly what is going on in the child's classroom. The information that they are given uh, is, is, is important for the success of the student. And again, very well attended. And, uh, you know, I, I again uh, applaud 
the administration for, uh, for doing such a great job, and, and the staff as well, when they went into the classroom. Um, next meeting, October 15th, Mr. Savo and Ms. Bodek will be presenting our test scores for the year 2018-2019. Uh, uh, so I, I, I would urge uh, parents to come and, and obviously understand a little bit more about uh, the test. Thank you. I'm sorry, Mr. Greeno, when did you say that was? Uh, that would be the next meeting. October 15 here at Alton School. Thank you. Now we'll move on to the consent agenda and the personnel. Agenda items one to nine. One, district substitutes. Two, staff resignation. Three, initiated leave of absence. Four, NMDC Model Youth Program additional counselors. Five, revision of additional class sections. Six, revision of breakfast proctors. Personnel, set of home instructions and instruction instructors. Eight, additional duty periods from the 1920 and nine, medical examination. Do I have a motion? So you? Sergeant. Okay. Do I have a second? I hear it. I hear a second? Second, yes. Okay, thank you. Um, any comments? Roll call, please. Vice President Sigmarella. Yes. Yes. Mr. 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 Yes. Yes, yeah, so 13 no services plan. Do we have a motion? So yes. Any discussion? Hearing none, roll call please. Vice President Sidney Yes. Mr. Carl Strong. Yes. Mr. Dalton. Yes. Mr. Hemingway. Yes. Mr. Lyman. Yes. Mr. Calcata. Yes. Mr. Miller. Yes. Ms. Powers. Yes. Mr. President Harms. Yes. On roll call, motion. Thank you. Uh, next is uh, business, uh, agenda items 14 through 19. 14, approval of bills. 15, approval of minutes. 16, secretary treasury report. 17, approval of transfers. 18, donation acceptance. 19, use of buildings and grounds. Do we'll I have a motion? So moved. Have a second? Second. Any discussion? Yes, Mr. President. Quickly on uh, 18, I just want to Thank the Rosa Parks Ed's Club for that uh, wonderful donation of over $2,600 um, to be used to, um, for new middle school uniforms. Uh, Ed's Club's been around here for how long, Joe? 1934. 1934. Thanks, Chad. Yeah, and um, they continue to give back to the community, and uh, you know it's great to see them support uh, both teams and, and hand me downs no more. So thanks again to the Roselle Park Ed's Club. Mr. President, uh, I need to abstain from number eight. Also, I'm um, more abstaining. Any other comments? You're in your local, please. Vice President Zignarello. Yes. Ms. Carlstrom. Yes. Ms. Hawkins. Yes. Mr. Hemingway. Yes. Mr. Lyman. Yes. Yes. Mr. Miller? Yes. Ms. Powers? Yes. And President Harms? Yes on all and abstaining on 18. On roll call, motion carries. Thank you. Okay, we move on to uh, continuing business. Do we have any? Do we have any new business? Yes, Mr. President, just a question. We have, uh, correct me if you want, and uh, we have no school on next Wednesday. No, 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 I'm fine. Fast forward to uh, election day, correct? Yes. Um, you are correct. For students, we have no uh, school. We have uh, staff development. For staff, we're now using the two buildings that election day. Okay, so. Yep. We'll be close to school. 
For some reason I put on the calendar, it was my mistake, and uh, no, there was no school, right? Was, yeah, no school for students. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. But are we still having a meeting on election day? Uh, yes. It's scheduled for that night. Okay, that was just a clarification. Now we have time, so it's, it's November. Yeah, it's not at one of the uh, one of the now meeting or um, I mean, what about saying you know, our meeting is in uh, no, it's okay. Yeah, we've done it before. Yeah. Yeah, we've done it. Any other new business? At this time, I will open up the second public portion to anybody in the audience wishing to speak. Please come forward, state your name in the gas, and you can speak on any item, and you have three minutes. Joe Diorio, 824 Bird Street. I want to uh, actually thank Board Member Langang for mentioning the summit that I now use. Because it was a reminder me, uh, at that meeting, we talked about whether the board would be interested in the borough governing body pursuing any interest in renewing its funding for the athletic field. So I don't know if that was discussed. I think at that point it was sort of asked by the governing body representatives to see if there was any interest from the board. I don't need to know now, but just that's sort of as a reminder. We're going to put the uh, um, buildings and ground uh, committee on that, so then we discuss that. Okay. And then um, we also looked at the youth center and scheduling programs there as part of the, the board borough sort of collaboration with the use of the buildings. I haven't seen any schedule yet, so just as a reminder. Uh, yeah. Um, to what site does the night have been I'll send it to Andrew for uh, have to talk to Andrew. Then. So, yeah. I sent it the day after. Okay. I have my emails here, so before I read, I'll look. I'll make sure. You said the day after? The day after. Okay. You will see what this Good. <laughs> right. That's all. Thank you. Thank you. Anyone else? Seeing no one, I'll close the public portion. Um, if there's nothing else to uh, be right. sure. Before we adjourn, I just want to say Happy New Year to all the uh, Jewish students and teachers. And, uh, thank you for coming out to the Good night, everyone.